Hey guys, it's Davi. Today we're doing a tier list of the My Hero Academia characters, you know. Got a slander on some of them. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna hurry up because I gotta piss. <music> Started off, we got Kaminari. Now, Kaminari has a cool power. He has a I look, so he has a cool power. I don't know why I'm all the way up here. He's definitely not going in no S or A. See, Kaminari, he's cool and all, right? He's cool and all. But the thing with Kaminari is that, you know, he doesn't use his power to the fullest. I don't like the way he uses his power. He's like, he's likable. He's pretty likable. So I'll just give him that. He's pretty likable. I like his power. He just doesn't use it well enough. So I'm putting him in C tier specifically because he can't, he does not use his power right. He's a likable character and all. He's a little cool and stuff, but he doesn't use his power right. Kirishima, in my opinion, instant A. I love Kirishima. I like his quirk. I like his whole character thing of, of turning a bad quirk into a good one. That's what I love. I just like Kirishima altogether. Kirishima is a cool character, and he has radical hair. His hair is crazy, just like me. So how can I not like him? All right, so Tokoyami, instant A. Tokoyami's quirk is amazing. Inside of season, I think season five run right now. Inside of season five, the way he's starting to use his power, not not only as kind of like armor and to attack himself, but also to fly, amazing, beautiful. I love it. I love the way that they're doing that. You know, I like I like the progression. If I can give My Hero Academia one thing, it's that they have good progression with their characters. Next up, we have a uh, Sero. Now Sero, from the jump, he used his quirk good. I like the way that he used his quirk. I don't think that he does much, so I'd put him in B. I don't. The only reason I'd put him above uh, Kaminari is because he uses he uses his quirk really well. He uses it how it's supposed to be used. Uh, Kaminari, he's starting to use it better. Like, in the beginning of the show, they showed that he touched an enemy and started stunning them, and, he, and his brain was fine. But he doesn't do that anymore. Like, if I was him, I would have been sneaking up on people and stunning them, but he's not doing that, which is why I would say Sero is above him. Now, come in terms of character, if this was in terms of character alone and not Quirk, I would have to swap it to this, because Kaminari's character is a lot more interesting, in interesting than Sero. But just because of the quirk wise, for some reason, I just feel like putting Seto above Kaminari. You can attack me. You know, I might be wrong on this one. This one, people yelling outside, they gotta shut up. I'd be fine with saying that these could be swapped up. I'd be fine with that. You know, I understand. Uh, Deku, instant D tier. Instant D tier. I don't like him. I hate him. Is he better in the manga? Probably. I haven't read the manga. He's probably better in the manga. He'll probably get better in the later series. But the thing I don't like with Deku is that, he, is that he's too forgiving. Maybe it's because me, me and his personalities don't like. They don't work. You see, do I consider myself a pretty nice person? Not really. Because if you say you're a nice guy, you're probably not a nice guy. But overall, I'd say like, you know, I, I'm a decent person. I think I'm a decent person. But um, when it comes down to some scenarios, I, I can't keep being nice forever like in the in the movie um what was it two no it wasn't two heroes heroes rising in the movie heroes rising when those little kids when that little girl was yelling at deku for not being a good hero or something or whatever i was in, i would not take that i'd be like yo watch when your brother go missing it won't be me coming to save him i'm sorry but i can't i literally can't like you know what i mean like i feel and he cries too much like he's probably gonna get better He's gonna get better, and I feel like in the manga, he's way better. But in terms of what I've seen, I just don't like him. I don't like him. He has his moments, but I don't like him. Bakugo, screw Bakugo. Now, I'm, you see, I consider myself sometimes to be pretty mean, especially in these videos. In these videos, I like to give off a kind of mean demeanor sometimes, specifically on TikTok. But um, Bakugo brings it to a whole new level. Me and him could not be in the same classroom. Because me, I would fight him. Quirk or not, win or lose, I would fight him. He, I would run his fade. Would he mollywop me? He might. Depends on what quirk I get. But quirk or not, I'd fight him. I would fight him. I would be training every day just so I could give this guy a black eye. I'd be training every day. Every day. There is no, like, I don't like him. 
His, his quirk is cool. And if this was going by quirks and how good they are, he'd go in A, hell, maybe even S. But overall, he's going in D tier. I don't like him. He'd have to run my fade every single day. Every day we'd be fighting. We'd Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, 24-7 we'd be fighting. Maybe not 24 hours a day, but 7 days a week, hell yeah, we'd be fighting. Coda? Coda's, Coda's just nice. I like that because he's starting to use his quirk better. I also love the shyness. He wouldn't speak and then he started talking. I like that development. And he's just hes just an adorable character. He's really he's an adorable character. I like him. Uh, Jiro. I feel like Jiro... Jiro makes me makes me think of Kaminari a bit, but just better. It's like better, smarter, uses quirk the right way, wishes that she could do more with her quirk, wants to progress. I like that. I like that in them. This guy, I'd have to put him I think I have to put him in C tier. I uh, I don't I don't see much of his character. His quirk is kind of lackluster. He's a good martial artist. He can fight pretty well, but like I don't see anything special about him. I really don't see anything special about him. I forgot his name. Shoujo, I think. I don't know. Shoujo, Shoji, something like that. I'd put him in B tier. I think he's a good character. I like him. Yeah, I like him. I just like Sho. I like uh, Shoji. You know, nobody's really going... Honestly, I'm not even going to lie to you guys. At the moment, I don't know. I don't think I'd put any of these characters in the S tier. Wait, that's a lie. I see somebody who deserves S tier. All right, cool. What, you want to fight? Like, why are you looking at me like, uh, Mina, A tier. Personality, I love it. Hairstyle, I love it. Quirk, I like it. I like it. Momo Yairozu, I've already made a video on Momo Yairozu. A lot of people don't like, uh, the way her, a lot of people don't like the way her body is. A lot of people don't like the costume that she has. They think it's over-sexualized. Do I think it's over-sexualized? I believe it has a purpose. The outfit has a purpose, but... That purpose can get overshadowed when it does get over-sexualized. I feel like sometimes Momo is the big, uh, big female character, kind of. Her quirk is amazing. Her quirk can be really powerful. It's a really, it's a really powerful quirk if you use it right. And a lot of people are like, um, a lot of people say like, you know, that she should be like bigger in terms of weight because of how her quirk works. Uh, let's actually, no, I want to show you guys something. I want to look up something real quick. If I go over here and look at this chart, uh, this is... This is like a good a general idea. There are different percentages of body fat. Now, I don't know how much fat it takes to cr to produce some of the objects that she makes, but it's a good idea to understand how much percentage of fat is on certain body types because a lot of people seem to think that like, I don't know why, but some people think like having 30% body fat or, you know, 25% makes you look like a uh, chubby. Now, Momo's range from here would be from I feel, her range because like she doesn't really have on oh, no, wait let me let me get a full view let me get a full view I'm not looking for cute I'm just looking for in general so if you look actually no this is a better this is a better view if you look here at the outfit I would definitely I would definitely change the outfit a little bit for the sake of you know not trying to sexual not for people to sexualize a 16 year old i would change it a little bit but i could understand why this type of outfit would be gone for because of the way that her quirk works she wants a, she wants she wants a bunch of uh she wants much freedom on um keeping things open uh, keeping things open to create it wherever she wants because like i because like and i get it in some i'll put it this way in some dire situations as a hero sometimes you might be forced into a position where you know some parts of your body aren't accessible which is why you want as much uh, body access as possible but like i can I, I i can understand the outfit and at the same time i can understand why people have a problem with it you know but if you look but back to what i was saying if you look at momo yairozu hold on. um two there are main there are a few main things that people have to like uh, consider is that um Mo there's like uh, in some area the way that the way that women work is that this is it's like a difference between uh, men and women because uh, sometimes with women the fat that they gain go to certain areas that some people find appealing like uh, 
the buttocks, the thigh area, the breast area, sometimes the facial area. Um, the way that I'm looking at it here, it looks like the percentage of body fat that that uh, she would have would range from about from about this one of 20 percent to to thirty percent, from what I could see. It looks like it would range from twenty percent to thirty percent body fat. So that is a pr that's a pretty decent percentage of body fat to be creating the things that she creates. Like she creates like a spears, uh, shields. She create goggles or something like that. Like she doesn't create uh, that much of massive stuff, which is why I'm willing to let it slide. Oh yeah, we're not scrolling down, which is why I'm willing to let it slide. You know, like she's not like Fat Gum. I don't know if Fat Gum is quick. Like, what Fat Gum does is that his whole thing is that he is that Fat Gum uses his fat a lot. He uses it to his advantage and. He, t he takes in the punches and he takes in the impact and then he could release it back on them. Now, a lot of people say that Momo Yairozu should be like, you know, I'm not saying, I don't think they mean that she would be in the 50%. That's not what I'm saying. I think that they mean like that maybe she'd be more in like the 40%, maybe the 45 or 35%, like 35 to 45%. That's what people think. And, um... But, uh, the thing is that, first of all, they train. They train, they need to, some of them need to be gener need to be, uh, generally, like, fit for how, for how they do things. But, it all really depends on how you want to use the quirk. Because a lot of people think that, okay, her power works, that she uses lipids, which lipids aren't always fattening. Certain fats aren't always fattening. Fats can be fattening, but, you know, not every, not every time that you consume fat. Like, if you consume fat, you're not gonna become fat, you know? Like, like you know, you know what I mean? This is, that's not how fat works. Not every fat is quote unquote fattening. And um, when you get to a certain body, when you get to a certain body state, certain things become more difficult to do. Like you know, sometimes like to get more fat, you'll decrease you'll decrease stamina. You may decrease strength. You know, sometimes fat can gain you strength. You you lose stamina. You lose some mobility. You lose speed. Things like that. And from I feel like the way that Momo plans on using the quirk is that she's gonna need a lot of her mobility. Like in the scene where she was gonna fight Tokoyami, she let out a shield and a spear, which you're gonna need a lot of mobility and dexterity to be able to use those correctly. Which is why I think you know. Having a relatively thin body is okay. Like you know, 30% fat is what I'm seeing is what I'm thinking of when I see her. Now maybe, maybe to some people they might uh, they it's definitely not 10%, and I don't think that it's 15%. At the very least, I'm seeing 20. I'm seeing 20%, 20% to 30%, which is a good amount, I'd say. You know, she doesn't have to be like a big overweight to have representation. A lot of people think the bodies are unrealistic. And they have a problem with it. Like people do these. People do uh, redesigns. Like you know, you see no more boob window knee protection. No more heels. Her outfit has heels. Yeah, I agree. You might want to get rid of those. You, if you're, you don't need heels. Yeah, you might want to get rid of those. This is what people think. Instead of of uh, physical bush, she has a watch that'll make holograms of the information. Yeah, that's kind of bullcrap. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's kind of bullcrap. A lot of people do redesigns. Now my issue with redesigns is that. You know, you could do your own fan art, you could theorize, you could do stuff like that. But a lot of people, when they do these, uh, when they do these uh, redesigns, they're really disrespectful about it. They're like, you know, fixing Momo Yairozu. You're disrespecting the artist by saying you're fixing their art. You don't say fixing. You say, you know, fan art. You could say redesign, things like that. And we're saying, oh, I'm fixing the art. This is more realistic and stuff like that. A lot of people who do realistic art sometimes are feeling self-conscious about either themselves or maybe somebody they know and stuff like that, you know. And you can't even say that, like, oh, I don't know if I'm a fat person. Bro, I'm chubby. I'm chubby now, and I was fat before, so. I do know what I'm talking about. I've been there. And, um, you know, like, wait, hold on, wait, let me. And here's another example of something. You see, when I look up Jotaro, when I go over here and I look up Jotaro, and I see this, I see this muscular 16 year old that I'm older than. I see this muscular 16 year old, this tall, looking big muscle stand using dude with a hat that blends into his hair you see i see this and i don't get upset i'm like oh he looks cool as hell i'm not over here like that's so unrealistic i don't have that much muscle i'm not i'm not over here rocking you know what i mean i don't get triggered if i really wanted this body i'd be working out like that i should work out more you guys need to encourage me to work out more <laughs> but um 
yeah, it's like, I'm not getting triggered. I'm like, damn, he look cool as hell, you know? That's how it is. That's just how it is. Leave it be, you know? But in terms of her scoring, her character's pretty decent. I'd put her in B tier. A lot of these characters are more mid for me than, than anything else. It's like, none of them are really that interesting. Ochako. Ooh. Are people gonna get mad at me for this? Alright, let me explain. Her character, amazing. She's a cute character. She's adorable, bubbly, all that stuff. She has one of the strongest quirks in this entire class, and she uses it so badly. Hold on a second. Right. She uses it so badly, she could literally be the strongest, but, you know, she's getting, she's getting uh, done dirty. So I don't like that. Sato. I'm putting him in D tier. I don't like Sato at all. I see nothing to like about him. There's nothing interesting about him. I just don't like him. His quirk, I, I don't I don't like his quirk. He can bake and all I can appreciate that, but I, there's nothing interesting to his character to me, you know? Um I'm gonna skip Todoroki for now. Tenye Ida. A tier. Now, I think so far that Tenya Ida has one of the best, has one of the best, like, one of the best developments and one of the best, like, arcs, you'd say. You know, his quirk, amazing. The thing is, with Tenya Ida, he's always been, like, from the very, from the jump, he's been talented with his quirk. He comes from a family of ingeniums. And the stain arc, the, the stain arc was amazing because you really look into it because, like, that it's like a, it's like his character is all about like rules and stuff. And then his brother gets hurt, and like it's like a it's like a switch just goes off, and now he's he's all about revenge. I like the little revenge arc he goes on, and he fails his revenge arc, but the thing that saves him is his friends. So I, I like that. I like his character, and his quirk is amazing. It's like it's a win win. Uh. uh Hagagura, I don't know. I can't remember her name. Like she's she's literally invisible. Literally invisible to the show. Her character's cute, I guess. Like, you know, I don't there's no redeeming qualities. I I, I would hate this quirk with all my passion. Uh Asui. A tier. S tier. I love Asui. You can't help but like Asui. Asui would be S tier. Ayama. I can't do my boy like that. Ayama, something about Ayama. I don't know what it is, but Ayama's hilarious. He's hilarious. You can't lie. He's hilarious. And now we got Zuko. So Todoroki is... I think he's kinda cool, I guess, I don't know, I don't know how to feel about Todoroki, Todoroki, am I bleeding, Todoroki is something else, you know, like, I don't know how to feel about him, he's definitely going in D tier though, yeah, there we go, so, that is your tier list, and uh, also, if you thought I was gonna move Mineta, nah, he's staying right there, he's staying right there, he's not moving, come at me, so yeah, that's the end of the tier list. I hope you agree. I hope you agree. So yeah, maybe I'll rank them. At, I'll, maybe I'll rank them depending on their quirks. But right now I'm just ranking them depending on like on my personal feelings. And this is how I personally feel about this tier list. So there you go. You can say what you want to say. Let me look over here. Is there any adjustments I want to make? Um, no. I like this one. Yeah, this is good. All right, so thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, psych, screw you. You don't get an outro.